Hi, this is Jeff with Mr. Hardwater. When you're operating a blast system, either the hopper, the blast kits, or the uh, trash can hoppers, it's very important to refer to our operations manual. Now, the operations manual um, is included in each of those systems, but you can also purchase it separately. Now, the reason you really want to read this carefully is because there's a lot of details in there, not only on the technical aspects of the blasting process, but also on the business side of it. Now, for example, in this uh, operations manual, we put a lot of detail on uh, the pricing of hard water removal. And so what that means for us is we've done a survey across the country to see what people are generally charging on a linear foot basis for hard water removal for pool tile cleaning. We've included that chart in there, and at the same time, we've also put a lot of information in there on the cost for various types of jobs. For example, how many man hours is it going to take, and uh, how many bags of media. When you combine those two together, you're going to be able to determine the profitability on a job. And that's a very important thing when you're a professional service provider um, offering a degreasing, sanding, or pool tile cleaning. Um, we also put into the manual some information about pool tile sealers because pool tile sealers are an important aspect of cleaning because once you clean it you want to seal it to protect the tiles from further damage and to make subsequent cleaning easier. So there are some rules of thumb on pool tile sealers, uh, for example how long uh, they last, how far um, they go, meaning how, uh, how far does an 8 ounce bottle go. Um, and that'll help you to determine uh, the profitability of a job as well. Now on the technical side of things, obviously the operations manual includes a lot of information about the assembly and the uh, maintenance on the various types of equipment that's offered. However, what's more important is some of the, the summaries on uh, the different uh, types of uh, problems that you might run into and some of the different types of medias that can be used and the different types of surfaces that you're probably going to operate on. So for example, a big theme throughout this operations manual is to match the hardness of the blast media to the hardness of the surface. So uh, you, can, uh, you can understand then that if you're choosing a very hard uh, abrasive compound such as let's say glass bead and you're shooting something very soft you may have some trouble because the hardnesses are a little bit mismatched. Um, so this book then really kind of summarizes a lot of the different characteristics of the media as well as the surfaces. So for example, the blast medias can be characterized in terms of their hardness, their sharpness, the friability, meaning, about, meaning um, can they uh, break apart upon impact, the pH levels, the solubility, etc. That's the information you're going to need to uh, choose the right media um, uh, for the surface that you're working on. Also in here is a pretty good description on the different types of surfaces that you're likely to encounter. For example, ceramic pool tile is most uh, common, uh, followed by um, the natural stones, then the glass blocks, and other types of surfaces. So what we try to do is summarize the different types of surfaces and describe the different techniques that are used to accommodate the different surfaces. Um, also what's in here are some really uh, more details on the blasting system itself and how to keep these things running efficiently. As you know the blast systems are really um, using a Venturi based blast head to pull some media into uh, the blast head, mix it together with water and that's what you're going to clean. Now it sounds simple but there still are some operation details to keep that media flowing smoothly. Number one is leakage. You really don't want a lot of water dribbling back from the blast head valve into the hose, otherwise that's going to clog it up. So there's some tips and uh, tricks there to keep that media flowing and to keep the, the, uh, the leakage down. Um, also in here is just more details on the types of uh, products that are available and what they're used for and we should you, when you should use them. So overall, when you purchase a blast kit, a trash can hopper, or the new hopper system, it will include our operations manual, which has a lot of detail in there. And if you're not ready to make a purchase on a piece of equipment, then it might be useful just to have the operations manual just to do some investigation and learn a little bit more about the process, the technique, uh, the different incomes that can be generated, and uh, some of the risks. We also do include a pull tile waiver in here as a sample. Now, a lot of customers have some pretty high-end uh, surfaces that they want you to work on. Um, glass blocks, maybe they have some specialized tile. Now it's important to be aware of what those materials are 
and the process that you're using. You really don't want to over blast. You don't want to pit any surfaces, crack anything, or deglaze something. So we put the uh, manual, we put the waiver in there to allow you to read it thoroughly so you can communicate some of the risks and benefits to the customers so they can decide whether or not they want to choose this particular technique to maintain those surfaces. So overall, the manual is a very important part of uh, the business of blasting and it also is a great summary and it's a reference guide for all the different types of medias, the equipment, and the most commonly used techniques associated with blasting.